What's up guys, today on Absolute Aquatics, we're going to be talking about this filter. This is an AquaClear filter, I'm going to be giving an honest review on it. This is an AquaClear um, 70, so let's get into the interview. So this AquaClear 70 is currently filtering a 40 breeder with two koi, one fairly large and one very little. And it's fairly clear water. I did recently do a water change and clean the filter. But when you, you know when you clean a tank that is full of fish like this, after you actually do the water change, there's tons of floaties, and as you can tell, the water in this tank is crystal clear, <laughs> which crystal clear water tends to reveal how dirty the glass is. But besides that, you can tell that this tank is very clear, meaning that this tank is or this filter is definitely pulling in all the debris. You can see with that little bit of algae, it's definitely got a pretty powerful flow going. And you can actually look into it. I really like that about this filter. And I am currently running one sponge with a rock on top. And that's it. That's all I'm running in this AquaClear filter. And I do that just because it gives a little extra flow, stirs things up. In a tank like this, I want extra flow. So... You can tell that's definitely getting accomplished with this tank, or with this filter, because of all the plants that I've thrown in there that for the koi to eat, just getting blown around like crazy. And the fact that the gravel is pretty much perfectly clean, as far as I can tell. So that's that's a big plus for this filter. Um, the one con that I have found is... If you put some, anything super fine inside these AquaClear filters, then the this little piece right here will actually slide out. That's the piece that you like fill with all the different sponges and other stuff, so you can easily pull it in and out for cleaning. Um, but yeah, other than that thing trying to pop out, if you put anything super fine filtration-wise in there. That trying to pop out is the only thing I've found to be a pain, but if you just put, you know, a rock or something on there, it'll be fine. Like, I had that rock on it before when it was trying to pop up because I had a very fine filter pad in the bottom, which was a mistake considering the fish I have in here. So, my honest opinion on this filter is very good. It's quiet, does a very good job filtrating the water has plenty of space I like its shape the best and I like the actual sponges um, if I had more sponges I would literally just fill this thing all the way up with AquaClear 70 sponges and if you have an AquaClear just fill it all the way up with sponges of the size rather than the other filtration stuff just use the sponges it's got tons of area for bacteria plus it traps plenty of debris the one thing I would do with this tank if it was for anything besides big fish like this is put a sponge over the intake just to prevent anything going in there since I especially since I specifically keep live bearers and shrimp that would be a big deal for me if I were keeping this on a tank with those in it. These koi definitely enjoy this, the amount of flow that this tank puts. Especially the little guy, I actually see him up there swimming against the current right below where it's splashing in all the time. Alright guys, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this honest review of the AquaClear filter. Um, the size is 70, like I said earlier. I believe you can get these on Chewy.com for about 50 bucks right now. And I know that Aquarium Co-op sells the smaller sizes, so support them. They're a great business that a lot of us love in this community on YouTube. So go check those out if you need a smaller one. Definitely hit that subscribe button, like, and comment what you think.